Hey guys, Shantani is back. So today we will learn about the benefits of doing our lower body part and how to do a proper squats. So let's get started. So whenever we hit a gym, we usually see uh, guys and girls uh, training their upper body part because we think that uh, upper body part is a home to so many muscle groups like uh, pectoral muscles, deltoid, and then latimus dorsi, biceps, triceps. So uh, we want to get those muscles and we want to get fit into our sleeveless t-shirts and tops. So in this part, we usually forget that training our leg muscles are equally important like our upper body parts. Our legs are also home to one of the longest muscles of our body. It consists of quadriceps, hamstring, glutes, calves and so on. So many minor muscles are also there. So when I see people only spending one day in gym to train their legs, I really feel bad because uh, you know we at least should train uh, our legs uh, twice a week uh, there should be a gap of 60 to 70 hours between two high intensity leg workout days uh, if you see footballers uh, they are running constantly for 90 minutes in a field you can understand what kind of a strength they need on their legs you know to uh, continue for those 90 minutes and sometimes extra times and sometimes penalty so uh, if we consider uh, tennis players if we consider consider badminton player they are also running constantly on their court now guys if you can tell me that look girl this is uh, all perspective perspective from a professional one uh, they are getting paid so they are training their legs what is the importance of leg training in our day-to-day -day life now if you consider our mother housewives they are constantly doing their household work by standing on their feet standing on their leg so yes they need on their feet as well so uh, if i consider the people who are doing field walks and uh, run you know uh, walking all the day doing presentations they are also standing on their feet for a day long so yes they need strength on their leg too so let's talk about the exercises we can do uh, to train our leg muscles uh, there are two main exercises of so generally there are two main exercises which we can do while training our leg muscles uh, one is squat and another is a lunge so today we will talk about doing a proper squat now for doing a proper squat if you are a beginner you can take a support of a chair so all you need is to bring a chair uh, just behind your leg area there should be a small gap uh, from the chair to your leg you just stand like this first your head should be high chest up core tight glutes tight and first you will sit slowly on the chair and then get up slowly sit on the chair and then get up when you get habituated in doing this all you can do is decrease the height of the chair so that you feel more pressure on your quadriceps muscle while doing a squat so yes sit up sit up your back should be straight not a very slanted towards the front not at the back it should be straight you're going straight down and up straight down with core and glute side and going up so you will do it on a count of 50 at a time you can rip it twice so a one day count will be 100 now let's learn about free squats and how to do it properly and its correct posture so let's begin so first you will stand with your hand at the front your leg should have a gap of hip width or a little more uh, I'll show you from the front uh, hip width gap a little more then slowly you will get down your head should be up chest outward core tight and glutes tight so we will slowly go down with a count of three we will sit for a while if you can't then you can get up obviously and then you will get up always remember when getting up 
we are doing a glute punch. We are breathing out our core is tight and our glute is tight. That is called a glute punch. Now always remember when you are going down, your knee shouldn't cross the line where your foot is. Yes, it can go slightly, you know, towards the front, but not too far like this. Otherwise, the pressure will be all on your knees. So always remember to keep your knee at a line of your foot area and your glutes should be parallel to the floor. And while getting up, we are following the same step. We are tightening our core and tightening our glutes. We are doing a glutes punch and breathing out. So yes, let's see how to do it with a proper breathing and breathe out. Tumbles, if you can see the weight is written here we will stand with the tumbles lying at the side of our body and the grip is called hammer grip the leg distance is hip width or maybe a little more than hip width then we will take the tumble up at the front of our body and resting a little bit touching our shoulder See the side view and what we do is we will slightly go down with our head high, chest up, core tight and glutes tight. We are going down and we will go down with a count of three. One, two, three. My knee is not going out from the line of my feet. Breathe in. Core tight, glutes tight, we are doing a glutes punch. And then again, we place the tumble, go down, a count of three, glutes is parallel to the floor, and then we will go up. You can place the dumbbell with your elbow pointing forward at the same position, and you can count 20 and go down and up. So I am going down and up and counting 20. as well like sumo squats or close grip squats sometimes squatting with a jerk and uh, there is jumping squats uh, there you can do burpee with squats and so on in my next video or maybe after that i will show you how to do the variations of squat 
so if you find my procedure useful you can do a proper squat at your home and you can also post your videos on social media and tag me in your post by giving the hashtag squats with shantani i will uh, watch your videos and i will correct you if you are wrong anywhere so till then keep liking sharing my video subscribe my channel click the bell icon for future notifications there will be much more in future so many exciting procedures and so many exciting things about getting fit so yes take care bye bye stay safe